everyone. For our today's lesson, I will be discussing to you plan and prepare for maintenance and repair. So we are now down in the last quarter for this school year. We are now in quarter four, week one to two. To begin with, let's start with a prayer. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Lord God, thank you so much for giving us another day to study and prepare for a good life in the future. Thank you for giving us the chance to continue learning amidst the pandemic, which caused a lot of changes in our lives. Bless our parents who work hard to support us. Bless our teachers who are doing their best to inspire and guide us, especially in these trying times. Bless our country and the people who continue fighting to stop the pandemic. Lord, fill us with your wisdom, knowledge, and understanding. Give us good memory so that we might understand and remember what we are going to study now. These we pray in the name of Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Good day again, everyone. Now, what is the objectives of this module? Enumerate the steps on how to prepare maintenance and or diagnose of faults in line with job requirements. Identify how to obtain tools, equipment, and testing devices needed for correct operation and safety. Familiarize yourselves in obtaining materials necessary to complete the work in accordance with established procedures and check against job requirements. Determine how to check tools, equipment, and testing devices needed for correct operation and safety. Follow OHS policies and procedures in line with job requirements. And lastly, check computer systems and networks for maintenance against job or service order or instructions and specifications. Since our topic is all about on how are we going to plan and terminate different safety procedures, computers nowadays are so advanced that makes think they do not have the same problems as other machines, but in reality, they experience and undergo random system failures. The computer network is a collection of complex machines and softwares, communicating simultaneously, performing trillions of calculations using hundreds of parts and wires, and under constant assault, by viruses and spyware. Planning and preparing a systematic maintenance procedure are a good idea and opportunity to save time, money, and frustration. When we talk about maintenance, maintenance refers to the actions carried out to retain an item or restore it to an acceptable condition, which is planned that divides into preventive and corrective maintenance or unplanned. Later on, you will know what is the difference between preventive, corrective maintenance, or unplanned maintenance. When we talk about preventive maintenance, it is described, it is described as maintenance of equipment or systems before the fault occurs. It can be divided into two subgroups. We have planned maintenance, or PM. Then we have condition-based maintenance, or CBM. When we talk about plan, these are variety of scheduled maintenance. So plan, you are doing a necessary task for future or in the near future, how are you going to maintain the computer systems? It also ensures, what is the purpose of plan maintenance? It ensures that the items of equipment is operating correctly to avoid any unscheduled breakdown. So we cannot afford or we cannot avoid errors or faults it always occurs what matters most is you know already what to do or how are you going to resolve those faults or errors 
We also have what we call now the condition-based maintenance. So this is far different from plan maintenance. When we talk about condition-based maintenance, a maintenance strategy that uses the actual condition of the asset to decide what maintenance needs to be done. So as if you are already encountering that kinds of problems, faults, then you need to think of a way on how are you going to resolve, how are you going to diagnose, or how are you going to rectify those faults. It dictates, when also when we talk about CBM or condition-based maintenance, it dictates the maintenance should only be performed when certain indicators show decreasing performance or up upcoming failure. Checking a machine for these indicators may include non-invasive measurements, visual inspection, performance data, and scheduled tests. What are the common methods of determining what preventive or other failure management policies should be applied? We have what we call the OEM or Original Equipment Manufacturer. We have requirements of codes and legislation within a jurisdiction. What an expert thinks ought to be done and measure values and performance indicators. Two types of maintenance, we have the preventive maintenance and we also have what we call now the corrective maintenance. When we talk about preventive, these are the things that what, uh, what are the things that we need to do for us to avoid those faults or errors? Corrective, what are the different things that you need to do if that actual thing or actual thing or faults arise already? That, these are the sample equipment materials or maintenance schedule. So you can place there the utility or the daily. It, it can be performed in a daily basis. It could be in every other day, weekly, every 15th day of the month, monthly. Then you need to apply or put a remarks whether that fault has been rectified or has been remedied already. So example, you're going to clean the PC. Manpower, you need a trainer, a utility, or a trainees. Check the hard disk, you need a trainer. Another example, we have here, check the power source and lines. So example, the system unit is suddenly not turning on. So how are you going to check this, that one? Are you going to check that daily, every other day, weekly, every 15th of the month, monthly? Then you have to check if that has been performed already or you have achieved that equipment maintenance schedule. You also need to include the room number. Example, computer laboratory number one. Date, the date today, April 26, 2022. Then you need to ask yourself, the first column, those are the questions that has been or that rectify already the faults or the errors that you encounter. Then you just have to put a check mark if that has been performed, yes. Then no, if you were not able to perform that one. If you were able to perform that one, what is the recommendation that you can give? So example, is the monitor functional? Is the printer cut cartridge replaced? When do we need to change the cartridge? Is the storage devices functional? If is the optical drive functional? Is the machine turned off after use? So this is very important. You have to shut down the computer properly. Is the machine regularly clean? Sometimes those dust are the primary reason why the computer system is not functioning well. So you have to check that as well whether it is outside the system unit or inside the system unit. So you just don't have to remove the dust outside, but you have to unscrew the body of the system unit, then remove those dust. So you can use a paintbrush. Then, what are the different maintenance procedure? You have to save time, money, frustration to ensure safe conditions, Prevent injury to people and damaged computer. How are we going to prevent those things? So you can use ESD or the electronic static. Then you can use the mat. 
Equipment, consider designing a systematic plan for both, then hardware and software. So you have to check them. You have to inspect those materials already. Planning maintenance procedure for computer system and network. A design systematic maintenance plan for hardware. Design monitoring, evaluating, and updating the plan. Place your computer in a well-ventilated area. If you do not have an air condition, at least place an electric fan. Schedule the use of computer for its longer life. Do not use the computer 24 hours. So, para ding, para ding tao yan, napapagod din po yan. Give the computer a break. Give the computer a time to rest. So that you can use them on the latter part. Or, it... Um, the function of this one is to prolong the lifespan of the computer. Move the computer only when it is turned off and unplugged. Do not move the computer while it is being turned on. Then, treat your computer properly. So, if the computer or if the system is turning on and yet there is no display, do not stomp or do not bug the system unit. Okay? Designing systematic monitoring, evaluating, and updating plans for hardware describes how computer technicians, students just like you, and computer users can work together to achieve a productive workplace environment. So, a well-ventilated computer laboratory or computer space, a clean, free from dust. Then, the guidelines reflect current knowledge and best practice for the use of computers so that you can achieve maximum efficiency and safety in your workplace. So, how are you going to back up your files? To back up the files, back up your file, install a secure password. Just make sure that you will remember the password. Okay? If, if you think that you might forget that password, you can write it down in a piece of paper, you can save it to your computer, you can save it to your Android devices or to your cell phone. Delete the temporary files and update antivirus and spyware. So those are the different things on how are you going to prolong the lifespan of your computer. So if you think that you don't need those files already, two things that you can do, either you delete those files or you save those files in a storage devices like CD or DVD disk, flash drive or pen drive, or you can simply save that to your Google Drive so that anywhere you can go or anywhere you go, you can still access those files already. The other thing that you need to do is to update the antivirus. So we know for a fact that viruses keeps on updating as well. If the antivirus is obsolete or outdated, then that's the time that the virus that will penetrate to your computer system will not be removed, will not be rectified, will not be cured, for your antivirus program is already outdated. So you have to update it. Um, maybe I can suggest that at least, if you're going to update the antivirus program once or twice a month, if you're going to scan the system unit at least once a week. Again, to clean, to scan the system unit once a week, to update the antivirus at least once or twice a month. Okay? Now, proper utilization of equipment and tools. Things we can gain from maintaining our facilities. Ensure safe environment. Improve morale of human resources. Reduce operational cost. So if you're not going to encounter any problems, then you're not going to spend money. Increase production. Prolong life facilities. Usually the lifespan of the desktop or the PC is five years. For the laptop, three years. Now, if you would like to prolong the lifespan more than five years for desktop or PC, more than three years for the laptop, then you have to maintain the computer by simply scanning every week, updating the antivirus once or twice a week, clean or remove the dust inside and outside the system unit. The proper use of training tools and equipment is the first and foremost task in maintenance. Yes, you know already on how to rectify a certain faults, on how are you going to remedy, and yet you do not know how are you going to use those tools. 
How are you going to use the flat screws? How are you going to use the Phillips screws? When do you need or when do you have to, or when do you use a soldering gun? When do, we, when do we need to use a vise? So you have to know those things. When and on how are you going to use those, those tools and equipment? The proper use of tools and equipment is a very important task of the, very, of the worker in any trade. So it is not only the system unit or the computer system that we need to maintain. Also, you need to maintain the different hand tools, clean the hand tools to avoid rust. For sometimes, those rusts are the different things, or those rusts are the reason why the different hand tools is no longer functioning. They must be able to use them following the manufacturer's manuals as this would extend the life of the equipment and tools. So that is sometimes whenever we buy a certain equipment or tools or materials, you can see a manual already. So uh, I know for a fact that it is very long, so just be patient in reading those manual for you to know already on how are you going to prolong those tools. It is best to read the manufacturer's or the user manuals. This would indicate the part of the equipment, the tip, okay, the function of each part and the way to maintain it. The user's manual must be kept handy and within the quality control area where the equipment is kept for immediate reference. So you can place those manual for you can place those manual whenever or you can reach them already. Do not place those manual example, you're going to keep them in your cabinet. And yet you place the computer system or your computer near in your dining area. You have to enter the room then go and get the manual so you can simply place those manual beside the computer or your working area so whenever you need it you can simply reach those things read it and perform it on how are you going to prolong the lifespan not only the computer system but also the hand tools the equipment and the materials so i hope you've learned a lot on how are you going to maintain and prolong the lifespan not only the computer system but the different hand tools equipment and materials so i hope you've learned a lot bye everyone and see you in our next lesson bye, bye.